big star uh, in, in, in France and in Europe, and then you come here, and it's like you had to learn all over again oh, well, because yeah. all of your comedy now is in a language that until recently has been pretty foreign to you. Yeah, when I came here like a year ago, I didn't even speak English like this. Yeah. I work very hard, and now I think it's okay. Yeah. I don't no, know. you're, you're, uh, it's very good. Your English is very good. You know, you is... know what's the most difficult thing in English for French speakers? What? It's not the words. It's to know where to put the emphasis in the words. Mm -hmm. And you guys don't help us. <laughs> like, we tell you the words. I, I, one day I said to a friend of mine, he's American, I went on vacation. He said, what's that? <laughs> and then he said, you mean vacation? Yeah. And they don't meet me halfway. Right. That's a problem. Right, right. <laughs> you, they're not going to. That's I mean, Americans, we get self-centered self about our No, language. it's just, it's, it's just it's so, it's new to me. And yeah. comedy, you know how <laughs> the language is important for, for a comedy. But there's a new Are there word. words? Are there certain words now that you're, like, that you've learned in English that you think, okay, this is a particularly weird word that Americans I use. just like when you guys make up stuff, like... I had some work done in my apartment in New York, and, and the, 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 the contractor said we should put French doors. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? Because <laughs> I swear I've never seen this in France. <laughs> and he said, French doors are actually doors you open like this. Yeah. And then I said, so why would you call them French doors? And I swear, he said, because... <laughs> I guess it's because when you walk through those doors, you look like a French person. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah. A lot of words, I don't know. Oh, there's one word in English, because you guys came up with words for everything. I, yeah. lo I love that. There's one word when I go shopping that I love. We don't have it in France. What's it? The word browsing. Browsing. You know how many words you, I, I, I would have to use in French to send the same message? <laughs> It would be crazy, like, I don't really know if I want to buy or not buy. It depends on the budget, and if I find something, I need to call my wife. But like, here, browsing. All right, I browse. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Work for everything. I love that. And, I, the, and there are things we probably take for granted, like, that we think everybody uses, but they don't, right? No. Like, uh, I like also, so, for some reason. People yeah. tell you, oh, for some reason, I couldn't make it. And I'm like... <laughs> What's the difference between saying that and n not saying anything? Because <laughs> for some reason, and I'm like, oh, really? For some reason? Oh, are you okay? And uh, this is the absurdism of, of the language. But I love, I love it, you know? It's bunch of stuff. You said bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, I told you this last yeah. time. Bunch of stuff is great. It's so vague. How many is a bunch? <laughs> you guys have no idea. Stuff, just whatever. A bunch of stuff. <laughs> It's, and my favorite word in English, you know what is my favorite word? It's toddler, a toddler. A toddler. Yeah, a toddler is a kid between, pff, they don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know, you know, how vague is that? What about a bunch of toddlers? I don't know. It's, <laughs> we don't like specifics in this country. No, but you have words for everything. Like, I don't know, it's, uh, it's interesting.